Hey everybody, welcome back, Thunder RC. We've got a fun video today. I've got two 30 degree north trucks, except one is gas and one is electric. Let's check it out. Come see what's in these trucks. So in the gas 30 degree north, I have none other than the awesome Taylor 46 GT engine. As for the electric 30 degree north, looks a lot different, see? I've got the Hobbywing Max 5 ESC with the Hobbywing 800 kV motor in there. The whole purpose of this video is to show you the different characteristics of gas and electric and to see which truck you like better. All right, let's get to it. electric in it quick that's crazy because usually this is my toughest truck but you have to understand this thing has been through so much hell since I've owned it and I've owned it six months and I haven't replaced a single part on it really and now my rear drive shaft is finally snapped look that rear drive shaft snapped completely off but I'm telling y'all this truck has been through so much punishment for six months um, I'm not surprised that that thing snapped back at the shop so I was wrong when I said the drive shaft snapped. It actually was the rear ring pinion gear. As you can see there in the differential, it snapped completely off. It sheared off there. That is a uh, that is a really strange break. Never seen anything like that. But like I said, y'all, I've had this truck six months, and if you've watched any of my previous videos, this 30 degree north has been through an insane amount of punishment. Went ahead and threw in a new one. Put the boot back on. Unfortunately, the drive shaft's still out there at the spot lying around, so we're probably going to go back and look for that. But for now, we're going to go hit the death ramp. Let's send it.
that was an awesome day. I got to say, I had a blast running both trucks. So much fun. You definitely need to go pick up a 30 degree north. If you're serious about RC and you want to get into fifth scale, whether you want to go electric or gas, 30 degree north is the truck of choice. That's my personal opinion. You can buy this truck at fearlessrc.com. You can also find it off eBay, 30 degree north short course truck. I believe the roller is around $800, $900, somewhere in that range. And they have an RTR gas one with the 29cc. But you can buy the roller. You can buy this Taylor engine. Now, Taylor RC has been making the best fifth scale gas engines and aftermarket upgrades. Taylor RC is just phenomenal. Everything that I've bought from Taylor has just been absolutely incredible. And I'm loving this Taylor 46 GT. If you want to know where you can find this, go to taylorrc.com. Uh, this is the 46 GT engine, okay? This is for the low C5T fitment, drops right into the 30 degree north. A lot of people are skeptical of a clone RC, and the 30 degree north is clone parts, clone RC of a low C5T, but you've seen it for yourself. The drivetrain holds up like a champ. It held that 46 cc big bore, no worries. I haven't done any upgrades to the drivetrain other than billeted the center diff housing. And I don't think that's even necessary, but I went ahead and did that. Both trucks did amazing. Like I said before, the electric 30 degree north is a lot of fun. You can really send this thing huge. It's just like a big Creighton 8S, except more durable. <laughs> a lot more durable. This thing is stout, y'all. I still haven't broken an arm on this truck in the six months of owning it merely even bent a drive shaft so that's that's hard to imagine um, for a 40 pound car unbelievable this is my tire of choice y'all this is what I was running throughout most of the video it's the Proline Badlands but these aren't the beadlocked ones these are the new tires that Proline's come out with that are glued and I believe they're called the MX 57's yep these are awesome so, as always, do appreciate y'all watching. Leave in the comments down below which truck do you like better, the gas version or the electric version. And if you were to go with 30 Degree North, what would you do to it? Peace out. <laughs>